Hey Fit Friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Holly and I'm a personal trainer and online fitness coach and this channel is just here to help educate, inspire, give tips to people who are trying to get fit, get healthy, um, and help anyone that I can't personally help in my personal training business. So in this video, uh, I want to talk a little bit about some options for breakfast. I spend a lot of time with clients talking about meal plans, what their diet looks like, and a lot of people run into the problem of not quite knowing what to eat. Um, we get certain food options just ingrained in our brain, and sometimes it's hard to think about creative ways to eat and what we can eat to be healthy versus just what's there and convenient. Uh, and a lot of people think that normal healthy foods for breakfast like bagels or croissants are good breakfast options and they're not. Uh, those are definitely not going to help you get to your weight loss goals. So in this video, I want to help you figure out some healthy options for breakfast that will help you lose weight, that will give you energy, that will help you feel your best instead of slowing you down. Um, I'll try and give a few options too, maybe for people who don't love to eat a lot of breakfast. Uh, who find that kind of a harder meal. So I'll just give you a few options, don't want to overwhelm you, and I will have future videos coming out with options for lunch, dinner, and snacks as well. So let's get started. Uh, my personal favorite to eat in the morning is eggs. So I recommend organic eggs, uh, cage-free, anything that's um, not being fed, hormones, antibiotics, things like that. So eggs are my go-to breakfast and one of the reasons why I love them and often recommend them for clients is that egg, you can do a lot with eggs. You can throw a lot of vegetables into egg dishes which is what I do a lot and it's a really good way to get an extra serving of vegetables into your day which I know can be tough for a lot of people. So you can make omelets, you can make scrambles, you can make frittatas. Um, there's so many options with eggs which is why I love them and you can adjust them to your macronutrient needs. So if you have more fat in your diet, you can eat many whole eggs. If you need more protein and less fat, you can do maybe one egg with the yolk and then the rest egg whites or all egg whites, whatever you need. They're super easy on that way. So I like to do eggs in the morning with spinach, uh, tomato, mushrooms, asparagus, any vegetables that I have on hand. I usually chop those up, just saute them in a pan, put the eggs in and they're done super fast, add a little salt and pepper and it's a pretty quick, easy way to get in a very um, healthy, nutritious and filling breakfast because of all that protein and fat and fiber if you get the vegetables in. So that's probably my number one recommendation for breakfast foods. In addition to that, depending on how much uh, you want to eat, if you don't want to do a huge omelet, if you want some other options, if you like carbohydrates more in the morning, um, then I there's a couple other things you can do. Pretty standard that you'll hear probably on most fitness channels is good old oatmeal. Uh, so this is the this is one minute oats. I definitely recommend probably like the old fashioned more often, um, a little bit less processed. So one minute is just cut a little bit smaller. It cooks faster. And I actually use these the most in overnight oats. So I'll put a link to the recipe here for overnight oats, which is my favorite way to eat oatmeal because I actually hate plain oatmeal. I just don't like cooking it. If I have to do that on the stove and just flavor it with um, like a little honey or cinnamon, I think it's disgusting. I don't like oats. So I do overnight oats, but if you like oatmeal, um, then I definitely recommend doing that as a really good heart healthy way to get in some good carbohydrates that are also gluten free. And then you can also get inventive with oatmeal and do things like protein pancakes. So I can put a link uh, in the description too. I have a few recipes on my website um, and YouTube for protein pancake recipes. So a little bit of oats, if you put those in a blender with like some eggs and protein powder and some other ingredients, you can make some really quick protein pancakes and then it feels like you're getting in kind of this indulgent uh, carbohydrate heavy breakfast without actually adding that. So oats are great for that. Additionally, if you don't want to go to the work of actually making protein pancakes, you can use something like Kodiak Cakes Mix. So I don't like to use this all the time. It does have gluten in it. I try to steer clear of gluten just because a lot of people, it's hard to digest. Um, there's not necessarily any benefit that you're getting from it. And the more I tend to hear from people and try things on my own body too, it just seems that like gluten is good to stay away from even if you're not 
uh, currently intolerant to gluten. So this is whole wheat, um, but it's really great. There's not a lot of ingredients in it. It has added protein. This one doesn't have a lot of protein. There's also a power cakes mix that has protein. What I do is actually use this one and then I put in my own protein powder, like a cinnamon bun flavor or something, vanilla, something like that. So it actually gives these a lot more flavor um, and a little bit of sweetness without having to add too much to it. So I'll usually do that, some protein powder. You just make it with water and they're super quick and easy to make. Um, good amount of protein, fiber. Um, you can kind of watch your calorie intake on that. A very satisfying breakfast if you like that type of thing. Um, for kind of some smaller options, uh, there's always fruit. You can always have um, something like berries in the morning as a great option, especially if you pair it with something like Greek yogurt. Um, so this is Greek non-fat plain yogurt. Uh, it doesn't have to be non-fat. Uh, this is just happens to be what I have, but it should be plain. I would not recommend having anything that has um, added flavors and sugars in here. As soon as you get into the fruit and flavors, you're getting either a lot of artificial sweetener or a lot of sugar, uh, and that takes away a lot of the nutritional value. So I stick with Greek yogurt because it's high protein, uh, because it has probiotics, and it's not, it doesn't have all that extra sugar that a lot of yogurts have. That's a really great option in the morning. Sometimes I'll do this with protein powder for a little extra flavor, again, to get in some of that sweetness, and then maybe some fruit or peanut butter or, you know, depending on what you're kind of craving, that's a great option. Um, I also like, not on not as breakfast alone, but maybe if I have eggs and I'm still hungry, I will often do, I uh, can't really see this package, but this is rice cakes. These are unsalted rice cakes, um, mother's brand, I believe. There's that. So these are just whole, it's just uh, brown rice, just brown rice cakes uh, with nothing added, that's all that's in there. And then natural peanut butter. Um, so this is just the basic like Ralph's Kroger variety. Get natural if you're gonna eat peanut butter. Don't do this stuff with sugars, partially hydrogenated oils. The only ingredient that you should see on there is peanuts and maybe salt. This happens to be a salted kind. I also often will buy the unsalted but if anything, those should be the only two ingredients in there. Even better to not have the added salt. But I like that for, that might work for a lot of people if you don't love breakfast, something like a whole grain toast or rice cakes to get in a little bit of protein and fat that'll kind of satiate you without having to eat a really heavy meal. So that's a great breakfast option as well. Um, there are some other options like some whole grain cereals and things like that. I try to steer clear of cereals, anything that comes in a box. This is about the only box food that I eat. Um, but this, at least you can, like, you can read all the ingredients, you understand what they all are. Um, but I try and stay away from packaged foods of any type, unless it's really clear that it's natural and the ingredients are things that you understand and know what they are. Um, so those are my top options for breakfast. I will also sometimes do things like uh, Jenny O sausage or sausage patty, something like that if you like meat in the morning. Turkey bacon is a great option um, and any combination of these things. If you want a little protein, you can have some oatmeal and maybe some turkey bacon on the side. If you're more of like a paleo person, then you can do maybe turkey bacon and eggs and vegetables in there. I always try and recommend getting some vegetables in or if not vegetables and some fruits, um, but to definitely get in that healthy fiber. Um, and to keep things as sugar-free and natural as possible, and for any carbohydrates that you're eating in the morning, to keep them whole grain and or gluten-free. Uh, so, those are some basic options. Last, if you're really stuck, you could do something like a protein bar. I'm gonna have an upcoming episode on my favorite protein bars. Um, so that's kind of a, if you're in a hurry and you really need something, uh, just don't have time to make breakfast, that's another option. Um, but that will be a different video. So I hope this is helpful if you have questions, if you want more ideas, if you have ideas, please